In the figure above, point O is the center of the circle, and OC equals AC equals AB. What is the value of X? This question is deceptively difficult. It's actually one of the most difficult geometry questions that I've seen on the GMAT. And what makes it difficult is that it is solvable. But it basically involves three variables and three equations. And if you don't do it exactly the right way, there's almost no way that it can be done within a two minute time frame. So what I'm going to do here is show you the direct route, how you can get it in two minutes. This isn't necessarily realistically something that could be done in exam conditions. It's more reasonable to assume that this would take three, four minutes, something like that in exam conditions. But it's always useful to memorize the quick methods to get to the answer. And hopefully you can apply something similar to this to a similar question in the future. So let's start by breaking down what we need here. So uh, first step, I'm just going to draw O. C A. A little pro tip here is always to write the letters lowercase rather than uppercase. It's going to save a lot of time. And I'm going to call that X. I'm going to call that Y, which we're defining as Y. And we also know from what's stated here, OC equals AC equals BC. This value, this value, and this value are all the same. So what that's telling us is that this is in fact Y as well. So if we look at this value crossing over that line, that has to be x plus 180 minus 2y plus y equals 180. And once we shake this out, scratch out the numbers that don't belong, we get 2x. We get 2x minus y equals 0. So that's a nice simple equation. And that's going to do us a lot of good as we continue. Second equation. We know that OA is radius. We know that OB is a radius. And that would imply, of course, that OA equals OB. Third step, angle OAB equals angle OBA. So what that's telling us, this angle OAB. So we know that angle OBA is Y. That's quite easy. And angle OAB is going to be 180 minus X minus Y. Or if we put everything in terms of Y, that's going to give us 180. 80 minus 3y equals y. This shakes out, of course, to 180 minus x equals 2y. And all we have to do from there is just to say, all right, we know that y equals 2x. We solve everything in terms of x. So 180 minus x equals 2y, so 4x. One more line, 180 is 5x, which therefore would imply that x is 36, so the answer is B. I'm aware that the answer to this in the back of the official guide involves the rule that if you have a diameter that you know that this angle is 90 degrees, and so they set their variables up a bit differently, but they still use three variables and three equations. There's no need to go to all that trouble or to bring in that rule. The only thing that you need to know is that OA and OB are both radii, and you can work from there and get the answer perfectly consistently. So yet another situation where we can improve on the official guide explanations.